Hello everyone, this is Liz Rune and welcome back to the English Grammar Course. In this video, I'm gonna teach you gender of noun. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to distinguish between noun gender and use them correctly in English sentences. Remember to listen carefully, take note and check up your dictionary if there are any words that you don't know. The most important thing you should do is practice. Try your best to do all the exercises at the end of this lesson. Are you ready? Get started. Hello everyone. So now we're gonna talk about gender of now. So what does gender refer to? Gender refer to sex that an animal or a person belong, whether a noun or a pronoun is male or female. Example, boy and man refer to male human being, while girl and woman refer to female human being. Okay, so how many gender of noun are there in English? Grammatically, there are four. They are masculine, feminine, common gender, and neutral. Okay, so in this part, we're gonna talk what each kind of gender refer to. Right, so masculine refer to male being. Once again, masculine gender refer to male being. Example, boy, man, father, son, cock dog, etc. And feminine refer to female being like girl, woman, mother, daughter, hand, and witch. Common gender refer to the gender that can denote both male and female. Example, manager, children, baby, tourist, doctor, teacher, and etc. So this kind of noun can be male, can be female. That's why they are known as common gender. And the last one is neutral. Neutral refer to inanimate thing. In other words, it is uh, referred to non-living thing. Example, book, computer, house, fan, uh, lamps, etc. So this kind of noun are non-living thing and they have no set. So they are considered as neutral. Okay, for this part is a summary for gender of noun. Okay, take a look at this table. You can see that there are four gender of noun. Uh, masculine, feminine, common, and neutral. So, feminine refer to the gender that is used to denote male sex. Example, father, brother, uncle, son, and so on. While feminine refer to the gender that is used to denote female sex. For example, mother, sister, daughter. So these kind of noun are considered as female. So they are called a feminine gender. And common gender is used to denote a common sex, which can be either male or female. For example, baby, friend, teacher, doctor, instructor, tourist. So this kind of noun can be male, can be female. So they are considered as common gender. And the last gender is neutral. Normally neutral gender refer to the gender that applies to like thing. In other words, we can say uh, inanimate noun or non-living things. For example, table, chair, bowl, glass, uh, house, garden, and so on. So this kind of noun has no gender or uh, we can say it is neutral. Right, for this part, I'm going to tell you about a four special note uh, of gender of noun. Okay, so note number one. Country are often referred to as she. It means that in English, country can be referred to 
female being even though country are non living thing example france will solve her economic problem by increasing her export so in this sentence we use her here to replace uh, country france because we consider france as female okay next now vietnam is strengthening her agriculture depending on her modern technology so vietnam here considered as female and we use pronoun her in this sentence to replace a country vietnam okay note number one now we go to note number two an engineer or a driver sometimes takes she or considered as female to refer to his engine car motorbike to show his emotional attachment. So, uh, this kind of vehicle are considered as female. Example, my Lamborghini is not just a car, but she is a friend. So, she here take the place of Lamborghini because Lamborghini is a lovely car and uh, the car owner or the driver considered as Lamborghini as like a uh, female. Right. Similarly, a sailor or pilot may refer to his ship or airplane as she as well. Example, this airplane is 10 years old, but she still runs steadily. So she here takes the place of airplane. Next, this ship is small, but she contains 100 people. So we use she, the pronoun she, to take place of ship. Because ship is considered as female. Let's move to the next part. All right. Now, here's the special note number three. Nature, spring, autumn, or fall. The moon, liberty, peace, and other things that are associated with uh, beauty and gentleness are sometimes affectionately referred to as uh, if they are female. For example, people love spring for her mild weather. So her, the pronoun her here take the place of spring. The moon is beautiful for her soft and full, full light. And her, the pronoun her here take the place of moon. So because the moon, we usually refer moon to the beauty of female. That's why moon is considered as female in English language. Now we go to note number four. All right, so here the special note for number four. Uh, winter, summer, sun, that, time, and other things that are associated with force, mean something strong, and harshness are sometimes referred to as if they are male. For example, winter is spreading his icy cloak all over the field. So his pronoun his here take the place of winter because winter is considered as uh, male. The sun is showing his power to hit the earth strongly. So pronoun his take the place of sun because sun is considered as male. That's all for the four special note. Next we are going to talk about the spelling of gender. Right, so in this part we're going to talk about the spelling rule of noun gender. I mean, there are some ways that we can change masculine noun to become feminine noun. And spelling rule number one is that we have to add E double S to masculine noun, then it becomes feminine. For example, count, countess, horse, hostess, mare. Mayoress, priest, priestess, heir, heiress, lion, lioness, giant, giantess. Okay, for this part, I'm going to show you more example. All right, so here are more example about the spelling rule for gender of noun. For this noun, we alter the noun before adding E double S to become feminine. Example, uh, Duke, Duchess, God, 
Goddess with double D. Master, Mistress, Prince, Princess, Tiger, Tigress, Waiter, Waitress, Hunter, Huntress. Right. Let's move on. Okay. So now. Take a look at more example for this noun. Sakura, sacrus. Murderer, murderess. Traitor, traitress. Instructor, instructress. Actor, actress. And emperor, emperess. Now we go to next part. Okay, so now take a look at spelling rule number two for noun gender. For spelling rule number two, we use different word between masculine, masculine, and feminine. For example, uh, boy, girl, brother, sister, father, mother, uncle, aunt, husband, wife, nephew, niece, sir, madam. Lord, lady, hero, heroine. Gentleman, lady, man, woman. Monk, nun. King, queen. Fork, vixen. Vixen. Bull, cow. Gander, goose. Stag. Hind, Ram, Jew. So we use different words to fit masculine noun and feminine noun. But we have no rule to to uh, uh, to form feminine or masculine. But we have to memorize in our brain. Okay. So next we go to uh, spelling rule number three. Alright, for spelling rule number three of noun gender is that we have to replace the noun, the main nouns, by using compound word for masculine and feminine. For example, fish or fisher. For male or, or masculine, we use fishman, and feminine, we use fishwoman. So we use compound word. Milker, milkman. And Milk mate. Washer, washman, and washwoman. Artist, male artist, and for feminine we say female artist. Baby, male baby, and female baby. Seller, salesman, or saleswoman. And doctor, male doctor, or a female doctor, dancer, male dancer or female dancer, teacher, male teacher and female teacher, nurse, male nurse or female nurse. So one again for spelling rule number three of the noun gender is that we replace the main nouns by using compound word for masculine and feminine but uh, this way it is a little bit easier than rule number two because rule number two we use completely different words so that we have to memorize them very well okay i think that's all for uh, the lesson part next you go to uh, practice part Alright, so this part you are about to practice noun gender that you already study, and what you gotta do is to choose correct answer for each exercises. But remember to read each sentence carefully before choosing the correct answer. Okay, so number one, gender specify whether a noun or a blank is masculine, feminine, neutral, or common. And the answer is a verb, a preposition, conjunction, and pronoun. Okay, so the answer is 
pronoun. Okay, so gender specifies whether a noun or a pronoun is masculine, feminine, neutral, or common. Exercise 2. Generally, gender is of blank type. So, two type, three type, four type, and five type. Which one that you have already studied about noun gender? Okay, the answer is four type. Okay, including masculine, feminine, common, and neutral. Go to the next exercise. Exercise 3. Jisan's father is coming from Singapore today. Here, the word father is a masculine gender, feminine, neutral, or common. So, the correct answer is masculine. Yeah, father is a male human being. So, uh, it is the, and the correct answer is masculine. Exercise number four. Love and take care of your mother because there is no one like her in the world. Here, the word mother is feminine. Mother is female human being. So, mother is feminine gender. Exercise 5. They are going for a tour to Russia. So, they is a masculine, feminine, neutral, or common. The answer is common gender because they can can be denoted as male or female. It consider both, right? Okay. So the answer is common gender. Number six. Mira computer is out of order. So here computer is a masculine, feminine, neutral, or common. The answer is neutral because computer is non-living thing, right? It has no uh, gender. It is considered as neutral. Next, exercise seven. All monks and blank of this church are invited to the program. So, answer: monks, monks, sorry, monks, monks and monixus and last one is nuns so which one is the correct answer for exercise number seven the answer is none man is male and none is female okay number eight she is a famous poetess poet poetress or poetin she is female, right? So choose the word that refer to uh, fe feminine gender. And the answer is poetess. Yeah. Poet is a male and poetess is female. Okay. Exercise number nine. Lisa is angry like a tiger, tigress, tigress, or tigerin. Okay, so Lisa is female or uh, feminine. So once it's increased, she will be look, she will look like tiger or tigress or tigeress or tigerine. So correct answer is tigress. Tiger is male and tigress is female. Exercise number ten: the guard is waiting for his master and mistress, mistress, mastering and mistress. So, master is masculine or male. So you have to find something opposite of uh, masculine. Correct answer is mistress. Master is male, mistress is female. Exercise 11. The hero of this film is my favorite, but I have forgotten the name of the blank. Heroes, heroine, heroina, heroics. So which is the correct answer? 
The answer is hero and exercise 12. The parents are welcoming their son and blank to the houses. So the options are son's wife, wife or the son, wife in law and daughter in law. So which one? All of these words son's wife, wife or the son, wife or wife uh, in law, uh, daughter in law are all in uh, all uh, female. So but which one is correct one? Waiting for their son and daughter-in-law this the why of the son is daughter-in-law right exercise exercise 13 all the fishmen and blank of this area are in a festival so the option of fish rush fish rain fish rush and fish women once again, all of his men and opposite of his men, his women. Okay. So his men refer to masculine and his women are feminine. Exercise 14. Though the weather remains hot during summer, but we enjoy eating different kinds of fruit in this season. Here, summer is a masculine, feminine, neutral, or common. So, the correct answer is masculine gender because summer is something related to force or power, something that is uh, described, a uh, word that describes something strong. So even though it is non-living thing, but summer is considered as masculine gender. And exercise 15. The man is comparing his wife duty with the moon. Here the moon is a masculine, feminine, neutral, or common. Right. The correct answer is feminine gender because moon is a word uh, related to beauty. Exercise 16. We should love our country and perform our duty toward the country. Here, country is a masculine, feminine, nurture, or common, according to our lesson. So, correct answer is feminine gender. Country is considered as female. Exercise 17. The nurse is taking good care of the patient. Here, nurse is a masculine, feminine, neutral, or common gender. Nurse. Nurse can be man, can be a woman, right? So, can be any other sex. So, correct answer is common gender. Common gender are word, a gender that is used to denote uh, both male and female and nurse is can be male can be female so correct answer is common gender last one exercise 18 the chairman arrive on time at the meeting here chairman is masculine feminine nurture or common gender okay the correct answer is masculine gender because chairman is uh, male chairwoman is female Okay, so that's all for these exercises. This is the end of lesson and I hope that you enjoy it. For next lesson, I hope to teach you singular and plural now. That's all for now. See you in the next video.